All right, so of course the car looks a hot mess right now, but it's like glass everywhere. Especially. a lot of glass up here um the night that it happened but i had um i had wiped it off because it was like you know i didn't have anything over that hole so it was like wind blowing through there and i didn't want glass like whipping around all up in my face glass all right there actually let me go on that side Like that was like the first thing that I noticed when I had got in the car is uh, all the glass. Like I didn't even like look up to see the actual windshield. Like all the like, looking like what the what the hell is all this uh, all over the car? Cause I'm like, car gonna be looking jacked up like that. Um. Okay. So. Let's see. All right. So the bullet came in, of course, through the windshield. Went through the headrest. That's the front of the headrest. Came out the back of the headrest. And I guess that's the, the stuff from the headrest. Okay, no mind, so my snacks back there. It's probably glass all over that. This actually was, uh, this was not loose, but it like, it'll pop, it'll pop back in. But y'all, that's from the headrest. And I don't know where it went out at. I don't know if it went out. I don't know, like, it'll still be up in there. But, like I said, I wasn't in the car, so that's the, great part but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the car out Phew. all right so i just finished vacuuming my car out it took me like an hour to do that i'm hot very very hot all right so let me show y'all all right so cleaned up there like there's still i can still see glass in different places I don't wipe everything down. But back seat. But yeah, I can still see a little bit of glass, but um, I'm gonna probably have to clean it quite a few times in order to get all the glass out. there's not it's like first come first serve so hopefully there's not like a bunch of people there already because it did take me way longer than i expected to um vacuum the car out but i 
will get back to y'all and I'll tell y'all a little bit about what uh, supposedly happened. I wasn't right there, but uh, I'll tell y'all what someone told me. So I will get back with y'all in a minute. What's up y'all? All right, so I am sitting up at the windshield place right now. Thing. I look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I keep scratching my nose. I don't know, something. I'm like allergic to something. So I've been scratching my nose like for a day. Um, so I'm waiting for my windshield to get fixed. Um, I did have to come out of pocket to pay for it. I got that freaking glass in my, my vents. So since my windshield has all the sensors and stuff on it, uh, the little radar thing uh, for the windshield wipers and um, lane departure and stuff, uh, I think it's probably a little bit more. So I have to pay $220 uh, for a new windshield. Um, and of course, I gotta get this done special, special, special. all right let's see oh yeah all right so yeah this little piece right here just like comes off so i probably can just order take this one off yeah i probably just take this one off and then get another one but as y'all can see, I sit like this in the car. And the bullet holes are right there. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm still sleepy. I gotta be like 7, 7.30. I don't really do mornings. But, um, so what uh, I was told that happened, so I wasn't in the car, I was like down in the same line where the car was, but just down a little bit further, um, talking like I always be doing. And uh, I guess someone, it, okay, it was the 4th of July. So like that whole parking lot, people were doing fireworks. And I guess someone, maybe, I don't know if they threw a firework, like, toward this way and or it just went this way but anyway so the I guess the people that was over here like next to my car I guess they started shooting when the person like did the firework going that way and the people on the other side started shooting back so and I guess that's where this happened um I don't know if there was other cars. I know there was a, one other car that got hit. Um, but I don't know if there was other, I don't know if anybody else got shot or what, cause I wasn't down there. I didn't even know it happened until like, I had came back down by my car to get in the car. And then I like, look, I'm getting in. I'm looking like, man, what? Like, why is it so messy in here? Like, what, what's all this stuff? And then when I had looked up, I'm like, what the hell? Damn windshield was um, bust or whatever. And uh, then I left there and then I had pulled over to look at it a little bit more to see whatever. And that's when I noticed this hole. And I was trying to see like, well, I was trying to see if the bullet was still in here. And then I noticed that it went through the, the headrest and it um went through that plastic piece back there um so i mean that's about it i don't know that's all i know i'm just glad i wasn't in the car and i did not have uh my kids with me because like most of the time when i do have the kids with me they be like if i'm talking or something they'll be like oh, okay we're gonna go sit in the car or whatever so it's a good thing they weren't with me but man, people gotta do better. Like, you gonna start shooting? 
because a firework came your way? Like, what in the world? Like, it's like not just that person out here. People just got it. Like, man, if you got a gun, learn how to shoot that thing and like, don't be stupid with it. Like, you just gonna shoot in a parking lot where there's a bunch of people with doing fireworks. There's kids out there, like everything. I don't know if there was any kids out there. Earlier there was, uh, there was a bunch of kids out there. Like we were um, out there hanging out, whatever. But yeah, it's just crazy. And another thing is like, uh, a lot of times I'll go back to the car and I'll sit in the car because I'd be hot and I'll like just be sitting there with the AC on. So I'll be like back and forth in and out the car. Uh, so luckily I wasn't in here getting me some AC. Man, it's still glass everywhere. I'll probably be cleaning this car for the next month. I won't be back there. Um, I don't want to say the place where I was at, but a lot of crazy stuff be going down there. Like uh, one car hit another car, like rammed another car. It's a video going viral right now. That happened that same night earlier, like maybe a couple hours before. So it ain't really worth it to be hanging out there for real. Like, it do be popping, but it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it. Um, yeah, just gotta be careful of the places that I be hanging out at. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, most of the places I be at, it be like car meets and stuff like that. That's not necessarily a car meet. A lot of people that are in the car community Community, they do go there but it's not it's not a car meet that's just like usually where people be going to uh like after the meets and stuff so but not me not no more but i'm still waiting they said it's gonna take like um like an hour and a half before they're able to get to my car. There is a, a, a meet next to my house. Uh, in town hall. So I might go to that. It's not like a ratchet. I can't be doing the ratchet, the ratchet meets and stuff no more. I gotta be mindful of where I be at. But this one's at like a place. Oh yeah, and if you have not yet, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on the post notifications. Um, I will be dropping more videos. Uh, as y'all know, I freaking hate editing. I really need to get some. I really need to pay somebody to edit for me because, like, I'm always out recording, but a lot of stuff don't get put out because I don't want to. I don't be feeling like editing it. I, don't, I really like I cannot stand editing and usually like before I would so I wouldn't have to edit I would just uh go live but when I'm moving around a lot I be need my phone so it's harder for me to go live if I'm not just gonna be at one place but I might just have to, I mean, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Either I'm gonna have to pay somebody to edit for me, or I'm gonna just have to go ahead and edit. Why that's the worst part, editing. Either that or, I mean, most of the videos that I do, they have to be edited because like I'll be recording like a lot so I have to like delete a lot of parts out of it because there's like nothing going on. So, but I'm just gonna have to suck it up. So y'all might 
be getting like a lot of a lot of stuff. A lot of might be old. Cause I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on my phone. Like mad videos from events. Um a little bit of everything really. But I do I really do need to start like uh putting videos out on the regular. I know y'all be wanting me to put videos out. Um, I just gotta do it. Just gotta edit. Just gotta edit the videos. And plus, like, I mean, right now, I'm not putting many videos out, so, like, I'm not making much money off of YouTube. Like, hardly nothing, because I don't put any videos out. So, uh, but what I really got to have to do is I need to make like when I first started doing YouTube like I had like goals that I had set for myself and it's like I haven't really updated those goals so I need to um like make a vision board and like update my goals because like once I hit the goal it's like Nah, I just been like chilling. Just chilling, not putting videos out. Just, just like, okay, I'm monetized. I got more than a thousand. And then I just been chilling. But I need to uh, really get serious about it. Start making some real money doing this YouTube stuff. Um, plus, I want to start like doing, going to events. I want to get to the point where I can go to the events and get paid to come to the events. So, um, but, um, I gotta drop videos. Gotta drop videos. Everybody be talking trash. Like, everybody in my circle and my husband be talking mad trash because I don't be putting videos out. I really been sucking. So, I'll be putting more videos out. Get my editing on. Or maybe I'll pay uh, AA Rose to do my editing for me. I don't know. That might that might be the cheapest route. Cause if I had to pay somebody else to do it, it's like sometimes it just don't make sense because it's like I don't want to pay somebody. I don't know. I don't even know what it costs for somebody to edit a video. Twenty dollars or I don't know more than that. I don't know. But and then the video doesn't make that much money. It's kind of like. So just edit it myself and really i mean i have the time to edit it i just don't like doing it so that's my thing i need i need to get it together either that or just start uh start back trying to go live um at least a few times a week because i'll be out I don't know if I'm gonna be out like that anymore, but I'll be out. Oh, another thing. Okay, so uh, leave in the comments what kind of videos y'all want me to start doing. Do y'all want to see the car meets and stuff, or do y'all want to see more like personal stuff? Me doing um, mods and like um, I know someone did say they want to want me to do like a, a point of view video so I'll probably do that soon um, also I know I want to do a video on like how much I pay for my car because I, I still haven't done a video on that uh, or what I pay monthly um, what else so I want to do that video um, I do want to do like go to the track and uh, race the track hawk. Not me racing, race get race my car against the track hawk. I mean, we did do the uh, the one little, it really wasn't, but it was a very short little distance. But I want to get on the track and uh, see how my car compares against the track hawk, like in different modes. I know my car can beat the track off in eco if it's an eco but 
like if it's in a regular I want to see what it would do or if it's in a sport or track so probably be doing that video I have to see when my husband off work because he'd be working a lot and I think the the track that we go to is only open to like um, anybody on Fridays so other than that I think you have to have um like drag radios or, or slicks or something But I don't know, y'all let me know uh, what kind of videos y'all want me to start doing. Of course, I'll be going to like the different events and stuff. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't have to look on YouTube and see what kind of videos people are making and stuff, but what do y'all want to see? Do y'all, to be honest, like, I'm super silly, so I kind of want to start doing like, um, funny videos because everybody who I be with they're um, they real special very special but I do want to start doing funny videos I, I feel like um, that'll be fun yeah but y'all let me know I mean do y'all think I'm funny videos. I might do some prank videos. I can like prank my husband and prank my friends. Actually, I've been thinking about quite a few different pranks that I want to do. So, but y'all let me know. Maybe y'all don't want to see uh pranks. Maybe y'all just want to see Carmi stuff. But I don't know. Carmi stuff be getting kind of, to be honest, like the car meat stuff be getting a little boring. Like, I like going to car meets, but... I mean... When you're in the same area... I think it's more interesting when I go I, like out of town and I see different cars and different people and stuff like that. But, like, just doing car meets out here, it's like... You kind of see the same cars and the same people over and over again. Which, I mean, I, I like seeing the same people and stuff, but... It's like, how many times y'all want to see that? <laughs> it's like the same people with the same cars unless somebody gets something different done to their car. So, I've been kind of, not really, actually, even when I do go out, I don't, if it's at a car meet, I really don't really record that much. I might record a little bit if I see something interesting, but other than that, I don't be recording. Because it's like, same thing. But, y'all make sure y'all drop some comments which I want to see but now I'm just up in here rambling but uh I think I probably got about a whole another hour to wait so I'll probably watch TikTok I could start editing this video but y'all know I ain't gonna do that even though I'm gonna have it ready for tonight but uh yeah I'm gonna watch TikTok though <laughs> all right y'all all right, so my part is done. Ooh. Gotta leave the tape on there until tomorrow morning. Looks good. And let's see, this is the place. So y'all are trying to get y'all windshield. I actually got my tent done here also, so. This is the cheapest place that I found uh, when I was calling around yesterday. Okay, so what I was saying was, uh, this is the cheapest place that I found uh, around here. Man, some places was tripping. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to get the um, the I guess the windshield uh, calibrated. They said they haven't had any issues with that before, but they did tell me about it um, since it does have like the sensors on there. Oh yeah, my little, uh -oh. my little thingy. I 
forgot to go out the window. Anyway, my floor is all dirty again. So I think I might go back to the car wash. Uh, I'll go to a car wash and uh, do another vacuum because there is still glass in here. I really need a, um, a vacuum with a smaller nozzle thing so I can get like in between the seats and stuff. But um, anyway, it's done. Oh, my nail. It's done. I don't have a freaking hold on my freaking windshield anymore. Um, it took like maybe like an hour for them to do it. So I was probably here like a total of an uh, hour and a half or so. It's still glass. This glass is gonna drive me crazy until I don't see it anymore. But um, uh, I am gonna put, be putting this video out tonight. I don't know if this is gonna be the end or not. I may do some more to it. Um, I don't know though, we'll see. All right, but I'll check, catch y'all in a little bit. So since it took me so long to uh, put the video out, um, it's time for me to take my blue tape off. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that on the video. And put my stickers on. I had T Rose in the front, of course, but I thought I had another T Rose um, decal, but I don't. So. I guess I'm just gonna put, um, I have this in there. So I guess I'll just put Tetona down here. And then I had some um, of my Mopar Mafia, some extra Mopar Mafia um, stickers. So it works out great. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on now. Well, I gotta take my tape off. It's been two days. Should have been a little bit more careful pulling it off the rat, but Think about all this stuff, like the inspection sticker and all that stuff. But uh, hey, make sure y'all subscribe to CJ's Matrix. Oh my bad. I'm gonna have to edit that part out. But make sure y'all <laughs> subscribe to CJ's Matrix. He's talking about something. I'm gonna put, yeah, cause I don't have. Uh, well, I mean, I was just gonna put that because I don't have no no T Rose. But anyway, uh, no. Nah. Okay, he and said. You gonna get big old traction up there too? Traction, traction. See, you you doing too much for me not to put you on here. How the phone go? All right. Traction, yeah, traction, yeah. Right. Anyway, so. Alright, so I mean, y'all got yes, girl. make sure y'all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's um, if the page is out there yet, but yeah, make sure y'all go follow. That 
anyway, I'm about to go ahead and put this to my Mopar Mafia. Damn, how you get them made already? I didn't. I, didn't, I never put these on the front when, uh, oh, when, I, had when I, them made? Yeah, when I got my M's done. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that worked out perfect. I know, right? Yeah, because uh, I, I had some on there, but they was reflective black. Huh? I'll wait to get your bag first. What thing? I'm not. Ain't you gonna get I'm that? I'm not. I'm not getting a big one. What you gonna get? How yours gonna look? Okay, change of plans. I'm not gonna uh, put my. I'm not gonna put anything on the front yet, cause I still have to get my um my traction banner. Oops. Gotta get my traction banner. Um, I think that's gonna be at the top. I don't know how big it is. So um, I'm gonna wait so that I don't put this stuff on there and then have to like take it off or whatever and try and move it and stuff and mess it all up. So I'm not gonna put nothing on the front yet until I get my um, traction banner done. So I guess I'm leaving it like this for now. Anywho, but yeah, it's done. It's uh, no more blue tape. Need a fan mess, what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely.